I'm taking a look way back to 2018, my 2018 header guide and updating it to be on YouTube and including some new styles. I'm going to go through the five key header styles that you can then take and make into your own style. It's going to be awesome. I'll show you these styles in detail. You only need five as a foundation and then you can kind of build up on them with your own designs and own ideas. So by the end of this, I want to see your amazing styles. Show them to me. Okay, over on the website, I have a ton of additional examples for you. You can also sign up to grab all of our freebies in the link below. If you want to see more of these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button and click that bell to get those notifications. Now you'll see from the old post that it was over two years old. From here, I've now grown an audience of over 100,000 on Pinterest with my crazy suggestions. That post was actually one of my more popular posts when I first started out blogging. And the ideas that I came up with in that were really simple for people that were starting out to do. So if you're a beginner and if you're a bullet journal beginner, this is definitely the video for you to get you started with some of those really creative headers. Let's dive right in. All right, what are some of the things we're going to need to get started? We're going to need a bullet journal. We're going to need a fine liner, a brush pen, and a Crayola. Now, I'm not using the um, Tombow uh, dual brush markers or pens because I thought Crayolas are far cheaper and they achieve the same sort of effect. So these are the three key things we're gonna need and then obviously a notebook to write in. You're gonna to wanna to set aside a special page for your hand lettering today. It could be any page in your notebook, but I am taking this particular page and I'm just gonna put a border around it. A simple border just to give it some space and be very clear about the area that I'm going to be using or practicing this these lettering techniques in. Now before we even get started we're going to practice our hand lettering a little and we're going to practice our down strokes which are always thick and our up strokes which are always thin. Now we're going to practice them together Now that we've practiced a little, little with the Crayola, we're now going to take the brush pen and do the same thing. Now let's try this with a simple word. You can see here that the down strokes are thick and the up strokes are thin. Let's try some of the simple words. Remember to try out different letters as you go. Okay, the first style we're going to try is fake hand lettering or faux hand lettering. What we're going to do is we're gonna do it in cursive. We're just gonna do a simple word in cursive. I'm gonna say Monday. And from there, we're going to kind of open up the letters a little bit. If we were to do it in normal cursive, this is what it would look like. But we're going to open this up a little bit so we can create that faux lettering. Once you've opened it up a little bit, we're now going to imagine where we would have those up and down thick and thin down strokes. you've got a really simple looking fake calligraphy pen style. You can see there's quite a difference. Right, we are halfway through. 
comment below with your favorite lettering style from the foundations that we've set up in this video. And I am so excited to see what you take and do with them and what you create. So tag us on Instagram, me, not us, tag me on Instagram and I'll share your amazing work in our upcoming next YouTube video. We're going to write the month, which is October. Again, we're going to go back and all the downstrokes we're going to make thicker. All right, super simple. Now let's take it one step further. We're going to create shading on one side. Okay, let's get a little creative with the style now. We're going to keep the same style of us filling in the letters, but this time we're gonna take a pencil and we're just going to do exactly the same thing, but this time we're gonna write header. This time, before I use my pen, I'm now going to go back and do those thicker lines where the faux calligraphy should go. All right, now we're going to really simply add some little flowers. Once those are in, we're now going to go through and fill in the thick lines first. Now, instead of filling it in with black, we are going to take a color and we are going to fill it in with color. And how easy peasy was that? We're gonna build again on this process and this time what we're going to do is we're gonna do exactly the same thing, but this time we're going to make it a fake ombre. So again, take your pencil that you're gonna need and write in heading. All right, this time we're going to do the same thing, but we're gonna color in the letter. So we're gonna say all this bottom part here is gonna be a nice dark purple. Now, you can go ahead and blend these with some water as well. It's not a requirement, not necessary, but it does look really cool if you do. Okay, now we're going to try some simple outlines. Now that we have these in place, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and I'm going to use a grey brush pen to create a drop shadow. We're going to create some shadowing, we're going to create a ribbon, and we're going to create an outline look for these headers. So same simple process and each one we're going to do something different. So we're going to start with the top one over here and we are going to take our fine liner and we are going to just do a border all the way around the word. All right, let's move on to the next one where we are going to create a drop shadow all the way around the word. Now we're going to go around, we're going to set, use the same technique we just used here to create a border, and then we're going to go around and create this drop shadow. Now you've got to imagine where the light of your drop shadow is coming from, and we're going to have the light coming from this side. So use your pencil and just kind of show yourself that your light is coming from this side, which means your shadow will be on the other side. Alright, 
really simple. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a shadowing effect just with a grey brush pen. Again, we're going to go down all of those thick parts that were the down thick strokes. Now we're going to go back and create a ribbon. So again, we're going to use the same technique we used up at the top, but this time we're going to close off. See here we have them open, this time we're going to close them off to make a ribbon. And now grab yourself a darker color than what is currently in there, and we're going to highlight where, oops, that's not the darker color, that's black. We're going to use a pink, and we're going to highlight where the ribbon overlaps. Super simple. So now we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, if you haven't already, head on over to the subscribe page for all of our freebies. We have a page just dedicated to freebies for you to grab. Um, there is lettering templates, there are bullet journal templates, there are a variety of different freebies that you can grab. The link is down below, pop your email in and those will be in your inbox. So go down. As always, thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I know your time is precious, so it's really, I really, really appreciate it. I'd love to see you on the other places that I hang out, like Instagram and Pinterest. And I've added some videos at the end of this that I think you might like. Can't wait to see you next time.